The old town at the far east of the Hastings seafront gives us some productive marks to fish with clean sand between clumps of rock. Quite a good range of species is reported as being captured here. The mackerel come in, plaice, gurnard, sole, bass, cod. At the extreme east of the mark you can get down in front of the cliffs to fish the rocks. You can also fish from the wall, casting into mixed ground. The other wall to our right forms the east side of the harbour and can be fished from, again with clean and rocky ground below. We'll venture later westwards towards the pier, but the benefit of fishing this end of Hastings is the deeper water in front of you. Parking is available for hundreds of cars and is right on the beach. We're in the middle of the harbour now, the breakwater you can see forming the other side of it. If you fish up against that wall, be aware the gap, which looks tempting, is very snaggy for quite a way from the wall. Every local I've spoken to here says fishing in the harbour or just the other side of the breakwater are the hotspots. To find out more local info, there's a club in Hastings with a beach section that are well worth joining with matches and a beach festival. Moving westwards away from the harbour, the sea shallows up, but there is the enticing feature of the old burned down pier to fish up against. Consider getting up as close to the pier legs as you can. The current scales out hollows, as you can see, and food collects there. Every hole I looked in sure enough had something living in it. The car park is underneath the pier just off the main coast road. Just before we leave the Hastings area, a very quick stop off at neighbouring St Leonard's to show you a rock feature. You can still see the Hastings pier in the background. This group of rocks is called Goat Ledge and as you look out to sea is just to the left of the sailing club. Definitely worth thinking about putting a bait close to those rocks for a bass.